is 840 News Talk, Saga 960 Raw. Mike Richards, we very shortly will be talking about the uh, product Clear by Bell. It's uh, the Bell Omega-3. They're calling it the cleanest and best fish oil on the market. And I can tell you the, uh, the amount of research that did go into this um, is pretty extensive. And I have seen others uh, advertised, like, in, you know, infomercials that you see, like, on a Sunday, um, American ones. And I know from what they, what they see and what they say on there, it's more expensive, number one. And I don't think it's as good. They've tried to do something similar, but it's just not up to that standard of uh, what Bell has done. And this is a relatively new product. Now, I don't know, Alicia, if you can hear me, if your camera, I think this happened last time too, where the, the camera I can not, hear you. Yeah, you can hear me? We just can't see I can you. hear you. Good morning. Okay, good morning. Um, so uh, thanks for joining us. And I'm always uh, really uh, interested when we talk about um, the Bell Omega-3, the, the product Clear, because they did a lot of work on this. And, you know, there's a lot of things that are great about it, but the packaging even looks good. Like, I, I like everything about Clear. I know, me too. <laughs> it's a great package, uh, and it speaks for itself. And uh, price is great, quality is amazing. And that's the most important thing that you have to look for in a fish oil. Um, their fish oil is made from um, anchovies, and it comes from the Pacific Ocean. So um, most of us know that the um, best quality fish comes from cold water. Um, this is a smaller fish, yet it's um, super clean and it delivers the same benefits as um, salmon and other uh, fishes from the, uh, the cold water. Now, a lot of people are very curious, Alicia, because they hear about, uh, you know, omega-3s. Uh, they hear about fish oil because they've seen it or maybe they know someone who takes it. What is the importance of omega-3 fatty acids? Like, what does fish oil have that is just so important and seems to uh, affect people of all ages? It's not like one group of people is only good for them. It, it really seems like it's important for everyone. It's very important. Um, the fish oil um, has the EPA part in it, DHA and ALA. The EPA fights the inflammation. I usually explain this in very simple words to my clients. I tell them that the EPA part in the fish oil fights the inflammation. The DHA is more for the cognitive, um, uh, cognitive and for the brain. Yeah. Because that's that is obviously a, a, a huge concern. I remember being uh, at a seminar a couple of years ago where. Um, they said, realistically, we're now in a generation that when we hear the word cancer, <clears throat> as scary as it, as it could be, we're more afraid and have become more afraid now of issues with the brain like Alzheimer's and dementia mm -hmm. than we are because we figure that cancer, at least you have a chance, but we're still understanding the functions of the brain. And so those kinds of issues and being you know, uh, cognizant of what we want to have with brain health that kind of has gone to the front of the line to a degree. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, it's uh, it's growing actually. It's it's really scary. It's growing, and I think even the situation of us being home during COVID and sitting in front of the TV and just doing things mindlessly doesn't really help. It doesn't exercise our brain. So um, for sure, fish oil. Anybody would. Um, benefit from that. I always take my fish oil and now I switch to Bell Lifestyles and I'm happy because it's a tiny little pill and um, it doesn't give you that uh, after taste of fish. You're not burping any fish uh, where a lot of supplements have that. Um, it's very easy to take small little pill and um, you can bring the package with you if you forget to take it at home. <laughs> it's very convenient. Yeah, very convenient. Now, when we, we talked about the issues of the brain, but, you know, when it comes to heart disease, so this is obviously, you know, does it, does it lower the risk? Like, wh wh what does it do exactly? Um, yes, yeah, so the fish oil helps with the heart, the whole cardiovascular area. It helps with high blood pressure. It helps with cholesterol, um, helps with diabetes. It's amazing. It lowers the triglycerides. Um, it really um, supports the whole heart. 
Um, it helps people who have anxiety or even uh, uh, any um, depression. It helps with so many different areas. Um, but the heart is a big one. It lowers the cholesterol and it has been uh, studied quite a bit um, that taking fish oil can lower your uh, triglycerides and lower your cholesterol, um, your blood pressure. It's a very good way to start um, um, supporting your heart health. Well, it, it seems like it's almost a you know, uh, as I said, for not only a different age groups, but different parts of, 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 of what you need from, from your diet, it seems like it's sort of a, um, be all sort of, uh, not a solution. Cause we said, these aren't magic pills, but in, in this case, um, you could probably take, you know, if you take other things, like I, I wouldn't think that you wouldn't be able to take like clear on a daily basis and not take some of the uh, other supplements that bell lifestyles has. I would think that you could take this in conjunction with others. Definitely, there is no contradiction. It's like eating your food. You can you eat all kinds of foods together. It's almost the same thing. Like you're just adding more benefits to your diet. Also, our, our arthritis is it also something for the joints as well? Yes. Yeah, so the fish oil has so many benefits. I can sit here and list a whole list of them. It's amazing for joint pain, for arthritis. It um, repairs uh, skin tissue. Anyone with acne, we always suggest that. Dry skin, uh, itchy skin, nails, hair. It makes the hair really shiny and healthy. Um, for your bones, for your teeth, there's endless benefits with the fish oil because of the fat quality that's in the fish. So that's what's supporting our whole no. health. When it comes to cholesterol, just so people understand, because it gets a little confusing, there's kind of a, a good one and a bad one. How does that work? Yes, there's the LDL and HDL. And um, the good one, we don't have to worry about so much because the blood it cleans it out. The bad one is the one that we should worry about. It's what we eat that makes it bad. And it's um, the like quality the of one? life yeah, like, we need. What's the bad one? Like if people are saying, okay, so what are the ones that, that cause problems? I'm sorry? What, what is the, the, and the bad cholesterol, what are the foods that, that, that have that? The foods? Well, yes. I would avoid fried foods. I would avoid high sugar foods, um, white flour. It all, um, um, it all comes together and it uh, can create really bad cholesterol. And, no movement at all, no exercise. That's the worst part of it. Um, eating the wrong oils, um, frying with the wrong oils. Like a lot of people are surprised that you cannot fry with olive oil, but that's mm. the worst one that you can fry with because it can change into triglycerides. So um, it's not very healthy oil to fry with. It's the best oil to put on your salad, uh, mm. but not to fry with. What do you, what should you, what should you fry with like canola or sunflower? What, what do you suggest? Uh, grapeseed oil. But, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I would not even fry. Frying is like old style. <laughs> Nobody fries anymore. There are so many things that can, you can do that taste like fried stuff. You can use an air fryer or you can bake in a proper way and you still get that taste. Uh, frying is the worst thing for your health, especially if you have heart issues. Well, as an Irish person, how do you not fry things? If I have having <laughs> me chips, I think they've got to be fried or I can't have it. And then white flour and all that. What are we going to eat? I'm, I mean, like, I, I was like, well, my, my, my diet's all terrible. Uh, but I mean, here's the thing too. Like, it's just assume that sometimes as you get older, these things become important. But the reality is if you've lived your whole life a certain way, Alicia, you're, yes. it's, it, all of a sudden you're just not going to change at 50 or 60 and you're, and you're kind of out of jail. Like this is something that now becomes probably even more important as you get older. But I mean, we're talking about, again, uh, sort of a, a society that wants to take a pill and yes. everything, everything's better. And, and what we're saying, and we always say with, with uh, Bell Lifestyle products and it's, it's natural properties, is this something you sort of take all along and continue to take along with exercise and a good diet? It's not a magic pill. It's not a magic pill, of course. There is no magic pill, or else we would all be on a magic pill and eating fried foods. So, <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that, unfortunately, at certain uh, point of our 
age, we have to say, okay, what's important to us? Because you're gonna start different things when you wake up. You either have the joint pain or you wake up with migraines or you uh, feel like you um, have heart palpitations or you can't breathe. And it's all related to the food we are putting in. That's like putting bad gas or good gas in a car. At the end, you'll know the car is not gonna run as long. So that goes the same for us. And uh, yes, definitely fish oil, I would suggest to take on daily basis and it will build up in your body um, and it will um, give you the benefits that you want. So I guess when I go to my favorite fish and chip place and they also give me deep fried Oreo cookies, bad, right? No good oy, now. Oy, yeah. oy. <laughs> <laughs> You, are you telling me you have never had a deep fried Mars bar? You've never had that? No, I never did. I'm going to live for another two years, probably. By the sounds of things, it's almost over for me. No, it's uh, not over. <laughs> it's never too late, Mike. That's now, the good part. It's never too late it's to never start too late. a good diet. Uh, put a good supplement on your kitchen table to take every morning, like the fish oil and Bell Lifestyle has other vitamins as well that you can use if you have joint pain, you can use your Inflamex, you know, they have a whole line of everything that you need. Absolutely, so, because other, otherwise, like to, to, to equal, you know, we talk about omega threes, so the good stuff with the fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, trout, one of my favorite self, uh, shellfish, uh, mussels, yes. oysters, crabs, I love all that stuff. But in order to have that on a regular basis, you'd be buying a lot of seafood uh, to, to equal it because that's why the pill is so convenient. Yes, very convenient. And a lot of people don't like fish. So yeah, um, that, that is true. Yeah, that is true. You know, how do you get your um, EPA and DHA? It's very hard to get it. So you can get it through food. Yes, but you would have to eat enormous amounts of it to get the amount that's in a little pill. So, you know, it's so much easier to just pop a pill, follow a healthy diet, of course, but, you know, it, it really helps, especially if you have conditions like arthritis or any joint pain or heart issues, cholesterol, triglycerides, you know, and diabetes and all that. Omega-3 will help out. Now, I'm almost afraid to, to ask, but, and, and, and this is a Polish dessert, so I'm probably saying it wrong. But it looks like a donut. I think it's pronounced Pashka. Do you know what I'm talking Ponchki. about? Yes. Ponchki. Don't tell me those are out. Uh, well, they are deep fried. <laughs> 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 you know, Mike, everything is moderation. I don't tell people to just like throw their deep fryers and everything out the window. You can have that in, very, in moderation. If you set a goal to have it only once a week, if you're eating it every day, then do it every two weeks, then do it every month. Do it as little as you can and you will benefit from it. Because you said, I think you said your husband's Italian. So he's, let's face it, he's, he's liking bad stuff too. Um, yes, yes, he's, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, right now he's switched. He's on my side. Oh, oh, he's on your side. You, you got him to switch sides. That's pretty good. I That's got him to switch sides and, you know, and he's actually preaching what I preach. Eat healthy oh, or you will yeah. feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, thanks so much for this morning. Always great to, to talk with you. It's a great product, uh, as we've said, and it's uh, something that they, they did a lot of research on this one. And it's uh, really, they uh, did, yes. uh, it's wonderful. Done. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm sure we'll talk to you again real soon. Yes. Thank you, Mike. Have a great day. <laughs> That is Alicia Ravenna joining us here this morning. Always such a, uh, does such a great job. And of course, as we mentioned, the omega threes that uh, are all the, you know, what you really want to get to. And of course, Alicia is a holistic nutritionist from Nutrition House right here in Mississauga.